Hello, sixth grade. This is Miss Duncan with a tutorial for number 75, Combo Causeway. So this is our first time bowing. We're just back to open strings, okay? So the things that we want to think about are obviously that beautiful bow hole that we've been working on, okay? So when I place my bow hold, I want you to notice that my fingers are curved and relaxed. They are spaced out. I could fit my other fingers in between them. For pointer, middle, and ring finger, I've got a knuckle hanging over and then my pinky is the only one that's going to stay up here on top. Okay, and then underneath, this is really important, my thumb shape and where it's placed. Okay, so my thumb is bent like this, like Stone Mountain, okay, not like a hitchhiker, and it's placed not in the frog. Okay, that's a lot of a mistake I see a lot of beginners make, but right after the frog. You see how I put it on the stick right after the frog ends. Okay, so we can think about the pirate captain underneath, or we can think about that bunny or llama with the ears but this is the bow hold we're going for my middle finger if we're thinking about pirates can go and touch the silver a little bit and my ring um, finger can go touch the pearl okay and again that pinky pirate is scared and index finger is kind of leaning over the knuckle is pointed towards the tip of my bow okay so that's what we want to think about for a good bow hold and then my instrument is just going to be held up in a beautiful playing position parallel to the floor I can keep my left hand here on the belt because these are just open strings. So I'm gonna play through number 75, which is open D and open A. Again, I'm demonstrating on a violin. So this is D and this is A. I wanna think about changing the angle of my arm in between. I also wanna think about opening and shutting the gate. You can see I'm opening and shutting from the elbow. I'm not involving my shoulder, okay? Do you see how crazy my bow path is getting on my violin now? Whereas if I open and close here, I keep this nice straight bow. Okay, so I'm going to play through 75. Again, if I had a viola, this would be D string and the skinniest one would be A string. Okay, so this is combo causeway, no repeat. I'll count. One, two, three, four. One, two. Make sure you're using a good amount of bow. I like to say about 50 to 60% for a quarter note and then 70 to 80% for a half note. So you hope you saw those last two measures. I was using a slower bow and I was trying to use a little bit more of it when it was just half notes. Okay, so practice slowly and carefully. Make sure that bow is staying nice and straight. You saw I was pulling a straight line. I didn't let it go bendy. You practice in front of a camera or a mirror. That'll really help you keep an eye on it. Good luck.